Hello chess lovers, I have a very beautiful attacking game for you played by Wei Yi against Zhu Yanchao. The game was played at 4th Danzhu tournament in 2013 and at that time Wei Yi was only 13 years and 11 months old. Let's see how this game went on. Wei Yi started with e4 and c5 by Yan Chao, Sicilian defense, knight f3, d6, d4, c takes d4, knight takes d4, knight f6, knight c3, a6, black goes for knight door variation, but after bishop e3, black is placing the pawn on e6 going for Scheveningen type setup. The d6 and e6 pawn center affords black a solid defensive barrier and it also retains flexibility to break in the center with either e5 or d5. f3, b5, queen d2, knight d7 and g4. The intentions of both players are obvious. White is attacking on the king side, black is counterattacking on the queen side. b4, knight e2, h6, white castles queen side, queen c7, h4, and d5. A very standard breakthrough in the Sicilian defense. e takes d5, knight takes d5, knight f4 and not a good move by black knight takes e3 well a better move was knight b6 if bishop d3 then bishop d6 and if knight takes d5 then knight takes d5 and this is going to be an equal battle but instead after knight f4 we see knight takes e3 usually in sicilian defense exchanging one of the knights with a dark square bishop favors black but in this case we can see that after knight takes e3 white is getting advantage queen takes e3 now at some point white can go for a knight sacrifice on e6 square Yan Chao played queen e5, well if we move like bishop c5 then white can go for that knight sacrifice. Let's have a quick look at this interesting variation, king f8, queen e4, the rook is under attack, if knight b6 then bishop c4, and if knight takes c4 then the knight is no longer protecting the rook, white can capture a8, if bishop takes d4 then rook takes d4, if knight b6 then queen e4 and white has an advantage and a very dangerous attack. But instead after queen takes e3 we see queen e5, queen d2, bishop c5, and a very strong move by Wei Yi, knight f5. Going for a knight sacrifice and at the same time this dying knight is covering the e3 square, not allowing bishop e3. Black castles king side, of course you can't capture because of this rook e1 pin. That's why after knight f5 we see castling king side. Rook e1, queen b8. And another aggressive move by Wei Yi, you can pause the video and try to find his next move. Ready? Seeing that he couldn't sacrifice the knight on f5, Wei Yi decided that it will be a good idea to sacrifice on g7, and there it goes, knight takes g7. b3, well if a move like king takes g7 then knight h5 check, if king h7 then bishop d3 check, and now you can't move away your king because you will lose the pawn on h6, and if a move like f5 then White can capture on e6, it's over, this is going to be a total destruction. Let's go back, after knight takes g7, we see b3, black is freeing the b4 square for the queen, a takes b3, queen b4, c3, but of course Wei Yi wants to keep his attacking queen, queen takes b3, knight h5, rook b8, knight d3, Bishop a3, black is intensifying the pressure on b2 square. Of course, you can't capture because you will get checkmated. After bishop a3, we see rook h2 overprotecting the b2 square. Bishop b7. Now, white wants to capture on h6. Actually, right now, capturing on h6 is playable, but black can get some counterplay, and Wei Yi decided first to play king b1. For example, if you play queen h6, then queen takes c3 check, if king b1, then bishop takes b2. Again, this is winning, but probably Wei Yi thought that 
this might be dangerous, that's why he played safely, first he played king b1, getting rid of this pin, of course by playing king b1 you are stepping onto another pin, but this is not dangerous, and now already white wants to capture on h6, bishop takes f3, and there it goes, queen takes h6, threatening checkmate in 1. Queen takes c3, covering the g7 square, but now Wei Yi puts the last nail on black's grave. Here comes rook e5. Wei Yi is famous for his rook sacrifices, blocking the queen's path and threatening checkmate in one. And after this move, Yan Chao resigned. If knight takes e5, then either knight f6 or queen g7 checkmate is coming. If you enjoyed this beautiful attacking game by the Chinese chess prodigy Wei Yi, don't forget to give the thumbs up or subscribe to my channel, more games are coming. Thanks for watching and I wish you good luck.